my notes to tell you that 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 I appreciate you how you are as a father. Um, how, how did you become a boxing fan? Uh, was it did you have an uncle or did you did you box yourself? How, how did you become a boxing fan? Early on, as, as at a young young age, you know, um, learning that I was strong, learning that I could fight, learning that. Uh, I could play sports and things like that. There were some people around and, uh, you know, they at a young age took me to a gym and that was an uncle, you know, took me to a gym and uh, I got to go in there and see these guys who I didn't know who they were. It didn't mean anything to me at all at that young age find out later on by the time I'm like 12, 13, you know, hey, that's the guy that was at the gym. See him on, you know, see him on TV. Oh, hey, that's the guy that was at the gym. I've seen him on TV. And early on, I was in that gym. You know, there was a, that was an uncle that took me there. And early on, I was in that gym and Larry Holmes was in there sparring. Don King was in there running his mouth, you know, and then by the time I'm 12, 13 years old, I see these guys on TV and it's like, hey, that's the guy, you know, and it comes back to you. Um, I was taken into the gym at an early age like that, but that was basically because the uncle or the people that I was with, they wanted to go to the gym and see the fighters. So I got to go along, but I wasn't taken to the gym for, hey, you know what, we're going to put you in this boxing, you know. And the rest of that became, you know, on me. But, yeah, I did get into a gym early because of somebody else. And then the way I actually started boxing and joined a gym was because a little buddy of mine when I was 12, that's just seventh, seventh grade. Yeah, seventh grade, 12, 13, we're right that age. <laughs> a buddy of mine, he said, hey, man, let's go down here to the – Police Athletic League, they playing basketball today. I said, okay, cool. At this point, I've been on a couple of wrestling teams for a couple of years. I've done some gymnastics, but I haven't played basketball. I've thrown the ball up in the air, but I haven't played. You know, I haven't been on a team or anything like that. So we go in, and they're like, hey, right, we're going down in the gym. We're going to shoot around. Okay, we go down to the gym to shoot around. And while we're doing that, the guy says, all right, guys, line up. So we line up. And they say, okay, everybody do a layup, you know. Everybody runs to do a layup. If mine doesn't go in, they say, okay, everybody get on this free throw line, you know. Everybody shooting the free throw. Mine doesn't go in. Nothing. My little buddy, his didn't go in either, right? <laughs> he shoot the free throw. All right, guys, over here on this side, you know, shoot a little jumper from over there. And then, all right, you guys stand over there. You guys stand over here. And we just playing around. And I'm thinking that's what's going on. Until we realize the guys separating us. And we go over there to try to, you know, play the ball with them a little bit. And they're like, nah, you got to go back over there with those guys. What do you mean go back over there with them? You, the ball came over here. I caught the ball. So, you know, I want to shoot it or whatever. Nah, man, you over there. You got cut. What do you mean? We over there, we got cut. What are you talking about? It was tryouts, man. Everybody tried out. You got cut. Mm -hmm. Right? So now everybody's laughing because we didn't even know we was trying out. We didn't even know that's what you was just, going you on. Just and to ball. Yeah, you yeah, just went to We just throwing the ball up, right? So they make and, I, and I'm real short at that time. I don't even know how tall I was at that time. I was I, I don't know. I could have been four feet eleven or something. I don't know. But uh, they laughing at us. And so my go to thing every time, all the time. Oh, it's a fight, <laughs> right? That's just me. That's my go to. That's where I come from. It's a fight. So I told my buddy. I said, man, we're gonna wait on them upstairs when they get ready to leave out. We're gonna beat them up. This guy looks at me and said, man, I can't fight. I said, why, you going to get in trouble with your moms or something? He said, no, I don't know how to fight. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I said, don't worry about it. I'm going to beat them all up. <laughs> so 
So I'm a badass, right? Yeah, I'm four for none, but I got muscles popping out everywhere. And I done been on a wrestling team for two years. And I done been in every street fight on every street that I done lived on. So let's go. So we're standing up here. We're waiting on these guys to come out. And they keep pointing at us, laughing at us. So this guy walks by, this old man, he walks by. He said, hey, what y'all doing? I said, we waiting on them to come out. We're going to beat them up. He said, you going to beat them up? I said, yeah, we waiting on them to come out. We're going to beat them up. He said, you can't fight. I said, yes, I can. He said, no, you can't. He said, yes, I can. He said, you don't know nothing about fighting. I said, I can fight, man. He said, let me show you something about fighting. Come on in here. He takes me down the hallway and into a room. There's boxing ring, bags, speed bags, jump rope, all this stuff right there. And that was the beginning of me learning how to box. And that man... I credit him with my basic fundamental foundation and every basically everything that started me off into boxing. That man is named Clint Martin. Uh, God rest his soul. He's passed on. And we called him the godfather of boxing. He's in the Boxing Hall of Fame in Cleveland. And just so you know, even though you've never heard of him, I'm sure you've heard of Sean Porter. Of course. <laughs> so when I first take Sean to a gym, that's the gym I took Sean to when he was eight years old. Um, I know you've heard of, probably heard of, Raynell Williams on the 2008 Olympic team. Mm -hmm. Also from the same gym. Raynell Williams was his fighter. He gave Raynell to me. I trained Raynell. Raynell won the U.S. championships with me. Then Raynell won the Olympic trials with me, and he was the outstanding boxer at the trials. Then he went to Beijing, and Raynell was 2008 Olympian. Also, Tiger Johnson from the exact same gym. Okay. Olympian. Olympian, yeah. Yep. Also, Charles, what is Charles' last name? On the Olympic team the year before the, the Olympics before there from Cleveland. Con Conwell? Conwell. Okay, so that's Raynette Williams, that's Tiger Johnson, that's Charles Conwell, all from the same gym. That's Sean Porter, two time world champion, all from the same gym. And then also there was a little kid in the gym when he was five years old by the name of Montana Love. So mm. all of these guys came from the exact same place. All of them are lineage from this trainer. 